today I'm going to demonstrate uh, another approach to uh, uh, doing castrations. I'm also going to introduce to you a way of uh, keeping complications down by the use of uh, post uh, extraction after the castration before you close the use of epinephrine in the uh, scrotal sac and the socket in order to uh, dry up the little seepage that goes on. Castration taught in school is uh, taught to push the testicle forward and you make your incision prescrotally and then uh, remove it from that particular location. What other animal do we do pre-scrotal? And I asked myself that question and came up with the answer, there wasn't any, so why aren't we doing it through the scrotum? For those that are doing a lot of spay and neuter, the scrotal approach is uh, more and more used, and I've been using it for like 17 years now. I'm showing you, just to give you a, an alternative, and if you see somebody else doing it, uh, they're not doing something bad, they're just doing something different. And I think that's very, very important to, uh, to recognize that uh, there's more than one way of doing almost everything. And the fact that it that has been done pre-scrotally for, uh, for years and years and years doesn't mean that it didn't, shouldn't be and can't be changed because of the new ideas and the new approaches on it. So that's what we're going to do right now. a little, they call it an ointment jar, a little three inch ointment jar. And what you do is fill up with uh, epinephrine straight from the bottle and just add it to the top of the stack of uh, one by one gauze squares that are in it. And, it, and then I can remove the top and uh, remove my own, uh, my own uh, gauze sponge and be able to insert it into this little sack and I don't have to bother the staff. The, um, the scrotum itself is very sensitive. It responds to heat, light, touch, and, um, and pinching, you know, pinching and touching. And otherwise, it really is pretty uh, non-reactive. So what you don't want to do is get clipper burns or use harsh chemicals as you're doing the uh, preparation of the scrotum itself to cause it to become irritated and inflamed. Then, once that happens, why the dog will then bother it. But if you look at the particular dog that uh, we're going to be doing here, uh, it's not inflamed at all, there's no scraps or scrapes. Uh, 